What's going on guys? Welcome to a brand new movie review. Today I'm discussing Searching. Searching is a brand new thriller starring John Chow and Deborah Messing and it's about a father whose daughter goes missing and on this journey he gets Deborah Messing who's a detective who's on board with this case and he starts to delve deep into wondering where did his daughter go? Did she run away? Did she disappear? Did someone grab her? And as he delves deeper into going through her computer he starts to find some mysterious elements and some stuff that might point him in the right direction. From that concept, Searching is one of those films that does take place on the whole computer screen. Now, we've seen this within the Unfriended franchise with the first and the second film, but with paired to Unfriended, Searching uses this in a very different manner, in a manner that feels like it's necessary for the story. When I say necessary, this film, the way it portrays itself onto a computer screen, feels like you're watching something. It makes you forget that you're watching a film in a sense, but more like you're watching a story going on on social media or going on within your computer or on your local news where you're watching it and you're wondering how's the story going to end can i put any clues together and whatnot because there are clues throughout the whole entire film that the director ignish wanted a debut director who's done some short films and whatnot but this is his first feature film does such a fantastic job layering out all these little small clues that once the film ends you go back and you start thinking you're like oh my god like everything was right in front of me the whole entire time it's all pieced throughout it because it's on the screen and it keeps you riveted from beginning to end the whole entire time you're on the edge of your seat wondering what's going to go trying to guess along John Chow's character trying to be with him and understand where is he going through and you understand and feel his emotions within here and as you're going through this you're totally sitting there like okay is this going to be happen is this what's going to happen is this what's going to happen and you're totally guessing along just as you are within the father's footsteps. The whole way through, you're in his footsteps because you're not, there's no way that you can guess ahead to what's going on. You might have predictions, but as you're getting those same predictions, so is he. And this is one of the first films, one of the first mysteries in a while that have kept me on the edge of my seat and to the point where if I think something's going to happen, the film's like, oh, you think it's going to happen? Nope, hard left, let's go around the corner, go around the block, and let me tell you, you're not even close to what's going to be going on and what the story's going to unravel next. I love when films do that. I love when a film can keep me on the edge of my seat like that and keep me guessing till the very end and that when the mystery unravels, I can think back and go, oh my god, I, this all makes sense. It doesn't feel like something that's just thrown in there. And with such a fantastic conclusion at the end, Searching seriously becomes one of the best mystery stories told in a very long time. And a lot of that goes to the first time director, Agnish, but also the performances in here. John Chow gives one of the best performances of the year, probably the best performance of his career, hands down. He was also in Columbus, a very underrated film. He was fantastic in there, but man, the guy comes to emotional powerhouse stuff within this movie where it almost makes you tear up of how good he is. Like, this is seriously one of the best performances of the year. Everyone else in here is really good as well. I, I think Deborah Messing is also another actress to, who does a fantastic job in this film. Again, bringing those layers, bringing those emotions to her character and making her feel like a real person. Everyone felt like in here like a real person. And again, the sense that this film brings you is that you totally forget that you're watching a movie, but in the end, it feels like something that really just happened and that you just embarked on this quest with this father, embarking it, watching it from news, watching it from social media, and that is superb. And tell I love Searching. I think Searching is easily one of the best films of this year. For cons-wise, I do think it's a little bit slow in the pacing within the beginning of the film, but as the film starts to progress, it feels like a boulder that's just going downhill, and as it just keeps going downhill, it keeps going faster and faster and faster until it just hits right at the end. Great performances, and especially John Chow giving one of the best performances of his career. A great directorial debut from Ignish, and seriously, one of the top-notch editing for any type of film to make the computer scream not feel like a gimmick but something that was essential for the story searching is one of the best films of this year a film that you guys should not miss look out for a theater i cannot praise this film enough go and see searching all that said i'm gonna give searching an a and this is easy one of my favorite films of this year my friend griffin from men vs. movie calls this the gone girl of this year and i agree with him really guys go search out searching hey guys what do you guys think about searching have you guys seen the trailers for this are you intrigued to see it comment down below and tell me guys what your guys' thoughts are on the film and of course if you guys are new here hit up sandwich on films also down below because right down there you guys can get into advanced movie scenes like searching check out movie news and also some movie reviews by me and maybe some other special people out there in the world until next time stay classy <laughs> we